Toy Story 4, Bonnie's first day of school. Every day was a special day in Bonnie's room, but today was extra special. It was her first day of kindergarten. Bonnie's new story, Forky, was going to. You, my friend, have an important mission, Basla Ear told Forky. Make sure Bonnie has a great day at kindergarten. Forky could see that Bonnie was nervous. She was quiet, and she barely ate her first day of school pancakes. What if I don't make any friends in kindergarten? Bonnie asked, poking at her food. Her mom reminded her that she met one really good friend during arts and crafts at kindergarten orientation, Forky. That gave Forky a great idea. Friends! Forky thought on the way to the car, friends will make it a great first day of kindergarten. Forky waved goodbye to the rest of Bonnie's toys. He couldn't wait to tell them all about the new friends she was going to make at school. Bonnie hugged her mom and dad at the door and said hello to her teacher, Miss Wendy. While Bonnie was settling into her table, Forky noticed a girl standing nearby. He had to act fast. Whoa! Forky made himself tumble out of the backpack and fall to the floor with a clutter. The girl gasped when she saw him. He's so cool! His name is Forky, Bonnie said. Then, using her Forky voice, she announced, And this is Bonnie. She made me. Bonnie first kindergarten friend, Forky thought. Miss Wendy gathered the students for circle time. One by one, Bonnie's new classmates introduced themselves and shared what they had done over the summer. Forky knew Bonnie was nervous. While no one was looking, Forky scooted across the table and jumped onto a tall pile of books, just a little farther. It was almost Bonnie's turn when she noticed Forky. She smiled brightly. I'm Bonnie, she told the class, and over the summer, I took a road trip with my parents and all my toys. Next, it was time to practice counting. Miss Wendy had a big box of different items for the students to count. Bonnie wrapped one of Forky's pipe cleaner hands around two colored pencils. Then she wrapped his other hand around one more. Bonnie counted the pencils. One, two, three! She did such a good job counting that Miss Wendy gave her a gold sticker. At lunchtime, Forky jumped into Bonnie's lunch box, where he met at Spoon. Let's help Bonnie to have the best first day of kindergarten lunch, Forky said to his new friend. The Spoon didn't answer, but that was okay. Forky knew everyone was a little shy on the first day of kindergarten. Forky grabbed a banana and some raisins and got to work. When Bonnie pulled out her sandwich, she laughed. Her classmates gathered around to see the silly face Forky had created with her food. Soon, they all wanted a silly-faced sandwich just like Bonnie's. After lunch, Miss Wendy asked if anyone had a favorite book they wanted to share. One kid wanted to read a dinosaur book, and another wanted to read a book about a ballerina. Forky hopped up onto a shelf and found a book that Bonnie loved to read with her mom and dad. He pushed the book until it fell with a thump and caught Bonnie's attention. He was about a ballerina dinosaur. 
then the class put on a play with puppets. But after everyone had chosen a puppet, there weren't any left for one boy. I have an idea, Bonnie whispered to Forky. She gave her puppet to the boy and made Forky a brown paper hat and an eye patch. Soon everyone cheered for Captain Forky, the pirate of the kindergarten. Kindergarten was awesome, but Forky was a little tired. He had done so many things, and now it was time for recess. That means even more things. I could use a kindergarten nap, he thought. To Forky's surprise, Bonnie placed him on a shelf above the cubbies. See you later, Forky, she whispered. Bonnie is going to recess without me, Forky thought. What if she gets lonely? How can I be sure she's making friends if I'm here and she's outside? Forky was about to sneak out when he heard Bonnie laughing. He pressed his face against the window and saw her smiling and playing with her friends. Her new friends. Bonnie is doing great all on her own, Forky thought. After recess, Bonnie joined her class in singing the goodbye song. When he ended, she grabbed Forky from the shelf and put him in her backpack. Come on, Forky, Bonnie whispered. We're going home. Home? That meant kindergarten was done and Forky's mission was complete. Once they got to Bonnie's house, she dropped her backpack off in her room and skipped to the kitchen for an after-school snack. Her toys gathered around Forky. They couldn't wait to hear all about kindergarten. Bonnie made so many friends, Forky said, and she had the best sandwich at lunch, and I played a pirate in a play, and... and... He let out a yawn and was about to rest his eyes when the toys heard Bonnie shouting down the hall. Forky and I can't wait to go to kindergarten tomorrow. At the next day and the day after that, tomorrow, Forky yelped. He thought about all the adventures they had. Another day of kindergarten would be fun as long as he could take a nice long nap 